Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for your continued support. We're always connected here every single day. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can just watch a new reading. Don't ever try to make it make sense. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So one week it could be a detailed Celtic cross. The next week might be a love reading, a law of attraction, tarot card reading, and I even added in some quick reads for fun. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Aries? Messages for Aries, please. All right, so we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups, the uh, Judgment, and the Eight of Wands. Well, really great energy. I love the uh, Archangel Gabriel here with Judgment. It's self-mastery. When you have something like Judgment, you have a real facility for, I got it in the beginning with that Page of Pentacles, uh, and especially the King of Swords too communication, anything that you need to do, any conversations. I do see that moving forward. You do have information coming in here too. Now, for some of you, you have a great love reading here. There's a nice little love story unfolding here with that queen, knight, and six of cups, and even the ten of pentacles. I get it with that too. So we have here water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We've got fire, air, and earth, all the elements plus judgment. So I do feel like for somebody here with this page of pentacles, this may be somebody that you're attracting. It feels like an earth sign coming in, even though there's quite a bit of water in the reading. You may be attracting a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. And I do feel like it's somebody who's very ambitious, and it does feel a bit Capricorn-like or even Taurus-like, that ambitious kind of energy. But I do feel like, too, with this, it's also pages are messengers. For some of you, too, you might have a little bit of unexpected money that shows up here with this combination coming in. Or if you've been waiting on a decision, if you had some kind of an insurance claim or something like that. For those of you that have that, if you're seeing justice in readings too, I would definitely say that's significant. But there's something about this that's just really, I, I like it. The, this page too is a little bit more mature with money. So I also feel like too, those of you that get extra money for something, you won't feel the need to go out and spend it right away. You might even do something, I feel somebody here investing in some home improvements and it really will be an investment i feel like you'll be prudent about it so that if you do sell at some point you'll get your money back i just feel like anything you do where you put money it ends up being i hear long-term investment like there's something about it where you get you get the money back at some point so it's certainly not frivolous spending well with the queen of cups it really, in terms of love and friendship and just getting along with people, this is a great energy. I do feel like for you too, you have the arrows of love here. So I feel like you have somebody who wants to come in and I feel like almost like that rushing, they come rushing in. Even if they are an earth sign, I still feel like they're head over heels in this energy. So you may find you have somebody who's smitten with you and it may be somebody connected to your past, not necessarily reconciliation, but with that Six of Cups, it definitely allows you to get your guard down, put your guard down, especially those of you, because you have nice aspects for money that have been focused more on the material, you know, your house, your home, your car, your money, all that good stuff. I do feel like with this, you may find, I get so this um, energy of somebody blushing too, or you might find people are flirting with you quite a bit, and it's kind of, it's flattering, but it's mildly uncomfortable for some of you, and it, part of it might be, you're going to, you reciprocate with every single one of them now, are we? So um, I also want to say too, though, for people who have kids here, I do feel like there's a strong energy with the Six of Cups and this Queen of Cups, something to do with kids here. If that's your profession too, if you're a teacher or somebody who works with kids, 
it's just part of your life path, but I, I felt at first as somebody's own children. You know, so if you've had a rough patch with them, I do feel like this, you, you have this return back to this time where there's lots of trust and love. It's easy. This is easy energy. We like it, especially too when we start to throw this in there. You know, this is just a nice combination for any kind of relationships. But I do feel like, again, for somebody, you've got a bit of a healing energy around something to do with kids. And so, or if you're a therapist too, again, there's something about that. So with this King of Swords here, you have great intellectual capacity here. You're sharp with this. So anybody who has any contracts to read, those of you, again, if you've been waiting on some kind of an insurance claim or some kind of a refund, I do feel like you have an eagle eye for the fine print and you're going to know what to say. Those of you that have to send off an email or if you've already done it, got the point across. Um, this is very upfront direct communication though. There's no nothing hidden here. There's certainly nothing dishonest. The King of Swords is forthright. It's a it's an energy of honesty. Uh, it's also too though the King of Swords is nobility. So I do feel like for you, you're gonna again feel financially secure in the energy that's here. It's there's definitely gain coming in here. It is an energy though because it's a confident energy. It's the master of communication, the master of the truth. Again, you may find that you are very direct with people if they ask you your opinion on things. So just be a little careful because he can be. He's not Page of Swords. I mean, the Page of Swords is the one that really pisses people off, but he's very upfront. So just be careful with that because we don't want to have to explain ourselves later in this. So if you do have somebody who comes to you for advice, I'd say meld this with the Queen of Cups because there's so much compassion there. So it's upfront, but yet compassionate. So with this Ten of, of Pentacles here, money does, it rains money in the tarot. I mean, it really is something... When we see this Ten of Pentacles, it is the wealth card. So again, I do feel like somebody here, you're going to have a nice little feeling of financial security here. Yeah, But also, again, I just feel like you're kind of getting into the groove. I understand prices are higher than normal. We are all living that. Um, but I also feel like you're getting into that groove so it's not rocking your world with this. And you may find there's some things that you've edited out. Or you look at it and you say, my God, aren't I blessed? I don't I don't really worry about it that much. I don't really, it doesn't consume me. But with this Ten of Pentacles, it is leaving a legacy too. So again, I do feel like somebody here, you got a great energy with that Six of Cups, Queen of Cups in terms of love and having loving relationships. Well, with the Knight of Cups coming in, you do have an offer here, a commitment. So those of you who are single, I feel like you're going to have more uh, traction than usual. Like I said before, people are going to be making sure you're aware of their interest in you, even if it doesn't go anywhere. I do feel like you have somebody here who does come in and they're manifesting you, Aries, with this Knight of Cups. This is a daydreamy energy, but it's setting your intentions and really knowing what you want, being clear about it. Again, those of you that are single, do some practices. Sit down, write down the traits that you want. Be clear about what you want. I've known lots of people who have said they did that. They didn't do it necessarily because they're into metaphysical, spiritual, esoteric things. They just did it as a journaling exercise and claim that they met their match doing it that way. So again, writing those things down. I mentioned before, there is a bit of a swept away energy here and it may be more them. I just get this very much, someone's very much head over heels here with this Knight of Cups. Uh, and so the, the Six of Cups, it really is a return to love. This is beauty, it's harmony, it's reciprocity, but it's that childlike innocence. Before we've all been traumatized by life and bad relationships, there is no questioning here. There's no, what's their agenda? What are their motives? There's none of that because it's unnecessary. So it's a card of great bliss though. And so I hear, find your bliss. I believe that was Joseph Campbell that said that, find your bliss. And so I do feel like with this, it is someone you attract who, again, you can let your guard down. Even though I do feel like they're quite a driven personality, I just feel like that may be part of it too, where you sense and so you can see the security in what they have and know that it's okay to do that. So with judgment here, I love judgment with this Eight of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. Now, again, for some of you, this is going to be about money. 
but with that eight of wands, it's also the arrows of love in the tarot. It is a new cycle. You've got a new cycle that delivers here. And this is big time. So the judgment card too frees you up for many restrictions. It really is a card of changing perspective, but it's enlightenment. So you've learned the lessons that you've needed to in past relationships. Some of you, it will be a card of promotion. It feels like you've got great security going on at work a lot of respect around you. And again, there's money showing up here. So those of you that say, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not changing anything with work, but you're waiting on something with money. The money does show up here. But again, this is really a card of a new perspective. It's a renewal when you have judgment. It's like that brand new lease on life. You can just let go of the old, let go of anything that restricts you, anything that's been holding you back. So those of you too that have said, I've been waiting to get into a relationship because I wanted to tie up some other loose ends. And we know when we're focused on one thing that has nothing to do with relationships, we don't give our best. So I feel like somebody here, you have that, whatever that is that you've been waiting to finish, you can begin something new with this. So again, the eights here are about vibration. These are about matches, matching up. It's that... Reminds me of that infinity symbol where new doors are going to open, but this is fast moving energy. Brace for change, Aries, because with the Eight of Wands, it's also you and your ele own element. There's going to be something exciting. I do feel like it has to do too work wise with that King of Swords, or maybe some conversation at work that really thrusts you into a new. It feels like a new position or you have some new responsibilities, but it brings in an exciting energy and opportunity for you. So, and we mentioned it is the arrows of love too. I do already say, I did already say a few times, you have somebody here who's quite smitten with you. All right, let's see here, Aries, what else do you need to know? <clears throat> Messages for Aries, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Advice for Aries and what else does Aries need to know? Okay, you have here, listen to your intuition, so meditate. Let your intuition be your guide. You have communicate clearly because the universe always responds and interacts with you. All right, you have golden opportunity. So again, something is going to happen here with that Eight of Wands and that King of Swords communication. They say you're ready and you've got a yes. So you can have, do, or be anything, Aries. You create your own reality. I love you and I'll be back again soon.